Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and because it's Black Friday today, I thought that I would do some picking of black locks. And these locks are Fear Precision Design, the V5 Security Range. I've never heard of this brand before, but look, they are jet black locks. Very cool and very fitting for Black Friday. They say that they have anti-pick cylinders, and um, yeah, quite nice little lock picks there. Um, Anti-drill. They have a break off system and they seem to be fire door rated. Um, is it 30 inside, 60 outside? I, I'm not sure, but either way. Um, yeah, I quite like the packaging as well. It's kind of kind of neat. I've not heard of this brand before, um, Via Design, but I kind of like it, not gonna lie. So um, you'll see that there is an anti-snap feature on the lock. So it comes protected with um, this little piece of spring metal, which slots in over here. I've removed it just in case that it snags the cylinder when I'm gutting it, but you can see through and it's cut directly above chamber three. In fact, you see chamber three spring through, which is kind of cool. Um, and that of course would fail if you tried to snap it, or at least that's the theory. And that was hard to take off actually. I don't think I needed to. You can see I scratched away at it and inside it looks like it's brass. Um, at least it's quite weighty anyway. I've also removed the circlet from this side, so when I pick it, I can gut it for you. Okay, so, um, and it, I also bought, because um, I got overexcited, a um, bit of play in this, actually, if you look. But this is the rim cylinder version. This is uh, wonderfully titled the, well, you can read it yourself there. This is the, the V5 RMC, I guess that's rim cylinder, 20 BK black EG eggs black eggs I don't know who knows it doesn't really matter but I just thought that we would pick these so I'm going to throw them in a vise then gut them and see what's inside here we are in the vise and here is the key to the lock got to be careful don't pull the core out uh, when I remove the key but um, works very nice and smoothly there we go and the bitting on this is actually quite nice in fact, um, I picked this earlier and I needed a, a, a medium hook. And actually, look at this, a nicely themed black handle saddle max. This is a 08B, the sort of medium hook. And uh, I'll need that because I found that pin five bound first and it needs lifting pretty high in the lock. It's actually pretty good bitting with this low cut to protect that high cut fifth pin. Um, because obviously you've got to reach underneath this pin to pick that one quite high. So yes, it's not bad bitting actually, or no. I'm going to use um, the top of the keyway tension, just a bit of bent wiper blade will do. And if I fancy it, I do have a Peterson gem which I can play with. So there we go, just going to use some light tension. Might put some autofocus on so you can actually see the lock. There we go. And um, just wiggle up, have a look. Yeah, and it is pin five here, which is binding. So just gently tease it up. And it goes into a very gentle false set, very gentle. Um, this is gonna go in, pin two I can feel already, and it goes into a deeper false set. Um, go in again, pin four, just get onto it. That's fine. Three, pin two, pin one now. Just check all the pins. Four doesn't need picking. Uh, three does now. One and, oh, we are open. So, hmm, there's some nice little spools in there. Tiny bits of counter rotation maybe. Um, Let's let's actually take this out, have a look and see what is inside it. Okay, here we are, all gutted, 
and uh, yeah you can see that it's all standards bottom and top all um, brass pins and the only pin which is a security pin the is this spool I mean they did say it had anti pick pins in I didn't expect there just to be one spool maybe a few more but I mean the spool did work I did get some counter rotation um, so I suppose there is that in terms of um, any anti-drill properties, I didn't see any in the plug, um, but there does appear to be a little steel bar, I'm assuming, that goes through the front of the lock. So yeah, it does have that, I guess, at the very least. So there you go. That is the Euro cylinder version. Let's go have a look now at the rim cylinder version. Okay, so we now have the rim cylinder version in the vise. Um, and here's the key now look at that bitting it's so flat i mean yeah i mean i didn't get to choose the bitting clearly um just got it through the post but um i mean it works very well but wow that is some flat bitting we'll try an spp and then we'll rake it and see if we can rake that in terms of picking it then um it's going to use top of the keyway tension with that same tension tool and oh that is weird i mean look at that that's some strange slop in the core now it looks like it's in a false set which it could be so there might be a number of reasons what's or, or a number of things which is going on with this lock um it could be that all five pins are spools i've known that and that could mean that they are all engaging and therefore we're in a false set it could also mean um that you have some spools some standard pins but the standard driver pins are too short meaning they don't really need to be picked and therefore you're just leaning on the the spools or the tolerances are really, really, really poor, and this is just play. Um, we'll find out, won't we if, we, if we pick it and cut it. So let's let's find out. So it feels like I had to set some pins so we can get the pick in there. Um, very odd. Okay, uh, pin five, little click. Four, three, two, one. No. Um, That's five. Thought I'd set it, I hadn't. Pin two. Get on it. Got it. Didn't want to set, I was like slipping off it. Um, pin three now. Lots of cancer rotation. That's pin two. Hit pin four and we are open. But that's not good enough. So we can SPP it, we know that. Let's see if we can rake it. So just reset that. Put in a bit of bottom of the keyway tension and we'll grab a rake. I'm just using one of these um, Wonder Wave rakes and we're just gonna go up and gently, there we go, and we're open. But that bitting is so flat, I'm wondering whether we could just use um, a if I lock it back up, a um, just a flat tension tool to pick it. So, we're going to try and rock it. I'm going to put in um, just a flat tension tool around the keyway. I will put another tension tool at the bottom, and then we'll just gently move this up and wiggle and see if we can't get an open. And yep, there we go, we've got an open. So yeah, you don't even need um, a rake, you just need a piece of metal. Interesting, all right, let's uh, let's gut this and see what's on the inside. See why it has such a weird amount of play. Okay, so it is what I sort of suggested it might be. Now, if you were very keen eyed, you may have noticed that um, when I was gutting, I took two pins out of a key pin chamber. So where the key pins were, there was also a driver pin. That indicates that these driver pins are just too short. And what was happening, the reason why it's in a false set to begin with, 
and actually came out of the false set when I put the pick in is all of these driver pins are too short and the only thing holding it together um, is this little spool pin. How can I demonstrate that to you? Well, let me just repopulate the plug with some pins. There you go, okay, after much faffing, so um, I struggle picking up the pins there for some reason. You can see that what was happening is even with the longer pins at the back, these are already at their um, correct position. This, this, These actually are zero lift pins, but um, they're zero lift at the wrong point. These driver pins are too short, they should, uh, they should be out of the keyway. It's really bad. And also, I look at uh, these two positions. That means that this core actually only rests on the spool. And if that spool was uh, wasn't there, it actually rests on the springs um, because the springs themselves would be uh, deep enough to engage um, with the, the the core mechanism. And um, yeah, if if that was taken out, you'd end up mangling all of the springs or at least in pins one and two so that's what was happening the reason why it seemed to be in a full set already was that it was in a full set already and the reason why is because the driver pins are way too short so there is a lesson learned um what can i conclude about these locks is that actually the um euro cylinder i have no problems with it so it's perfectly fine for what it is but the um rim cylinder if they're all like that, that's that's awful. You shouldn't have driver pins that are that short um, with that, with those bittings. Um, yeah, so yeah, I hope you learned something. I certainly did, and I'll see you all next time. Happy Black Friday.